morning. Master Gardeners here are going to show you how to remove the tea pole at the end of the season because you want to maybe redo the garden for next season. So we have the tea pole is very securely in here. I've moved it around a little bit to get it loosened. This is the post driver that we used to put the post in the first time by slamming it down. Now I'm going to turn it upside down and put that solid part on the soil and have the open part so that I can capture one of these notches that's always on the T-bar. And uh, with that notch, I will be able to leverage the pole against the driver and lift it out of the ground. That's what we hope. So firmly placed, push it against, and now I've hooked the post hole driver underneath one of these notches. So now it's really secure. Now I'm gonna be able to push or pull, whichever is comfortable for you, but make sure you use good body mechanics to leverage the pole against the driver and pull up out of the soil. It's not gonna come up a long way, but we go down to the next notch and it's secured there and I'll pull again and we'll maybe see it come up another half inch or an inch, who knows? Can I go down one more? A little bit of force, yes. And up, even more. And you can see at the bottom, the T is actually coming out of the soil. The T is what keeps your post from spinning while it's in the soil. Very helpful. And there we have success. <laughs>